Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. In this module, we're going to be looking at the Enlightened World Flag Slicer. Now, the World Flag Slicer, as you might guess by the name of it, is a filter. And it's a filter that will automatically take in country names or codes and convert those into a flag. So if you have a data set that has a country name in it or it has a two-character alpha uh, country code, then it will convert that into a flag for you. And that way, whenever you want to filter something, you can select a flag instead of the text for United States or United Kingdom or whatever it may be, Australia here. So you have the ability to easily take that and change a filter and change it into a filter. You also have the ability to show and display a metric. If you have some kind of a metric value, you can display those be below any of the flags that you have as well. You can see that here where it says 70 medals, 121 medals, 67 medals. Those can be displayed right below a slicer that you have in here as well. Now, as, uh, this one is developed by Enlightened Designs. So let's go ahead and take a look at where you can go find this one and how exactly to use the World Flag Slicer. All right, so again, all of the Power BI custom visuals can be found from the Office Store. So you're going to start by going to store.office.com. You can search underneath the Power BI product section. But probably the easiest way to do this is after you select Power BI, go up to the top here and just type flag. And after you type flag, you should be able to see the Enlightened World Flag Slicer show up here for you. And so we're going to go ahead and select Enlightened World Flag Slicer. And we'll go ahead and click to add it here. And then when we select to add, you can go ahead and download the visual or you can also download a sample here. So I encourage you to go ahead and download the visual if you want to look at some samples of how to do this. You can also look at this. This is actually a, some Olympic data here if you'd like to look at the sample. But in this case, we're going to do our own example here. So we're going to download the Enlight World Flag Slicer, and then we're going to go launch open the Power BI desktop. All right, so our first step now, once we move over to the Power BI desktop, is to actually take a look at the data we want to bring in. Now, the data that we're going to bring in today is going to have to do with giving of countries. So the amount that countries give to other countries, for example or the amount of aid given to other countries. So uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to start by going to get some data. We're going to go up to the Get Data section up in the top here, and we're going to se select to get data from Excel. And then the data that we're going to be using for this example is going to be inside of this uh, Countries That Give spreadsheet, our workbook. So we'll select this workbook here. And once we connect to it, you're going to see a spreadsheet in here called Aid Given. And you can see all of the uh, countries, the years that they gave, and how much they gave in each year. Okay, so uh, I think we're going to go ahead and bring this in as is. So we'll select load, and that'll bring in that information into the Power BI desktop into our data model. And then we're going to start to walk through how we can actually use this Power BI visual. Now to start, we're going to first bring in a basic line chart. And that line chart, the goal with it being that we can actually see some of this information with other visuals and how cross-filtering will work with this new slicer. So we're going to start by bringing in a line chart here. And I'm going to make this on the bottom, make it take up at least the width of the screen here. And inside this line chart, what we're going to bring in is we're going to bring in the year. I'm going to drop the year in here. And then we're also going to bring in the aid given. Okay, so we can see now for all countries how much aid was given for each year. Okay, so you can see uh, there is an increase over time of the amount of aid that's been given. Now what I'd like to do is add in the Enlightened World Flag Slicer. So to do that, we need to go over to where we can import custom visuals right here, where you see Import from File underneath the Visualization section. We'll select Import Custom Visual and go ahead and hit import again. And then we're gonna go find wherever we downloaded that custom visual. So wherever you downloaded yours, you wanna go find that location and select the Enlightened World Flag Slicer. We'll hit open and it's gonna add that into our Power BI desktop. And you can see it shows as a flag here. All right, so let's go ahead and select somewhere in the background and bring in the Enlightened World Flag Slicer. Make this take up, let's say the width of the screen on the top here, like so. And then let's go ahead and bring in the country column into the country field right here. So you can see country to country right here in the field list for the Enlightened World Flag Slicer. And then it automatically takes that country name and converts it into a bunch of country flags for us. So it's automatically done that all on its own here. Now, one of the things that you can do with this is you can apply some kind of a metric to it here. You see where it says label. If you wanted to, you could actually bring in something like the aid given here, and it would switch the label into the aid given. Now, notice here what's happening is it's showing a value for each year. So be aware of that. That's something that you could uh, actually deal with if you wanted to aggregate that in some way. You could build some kind of metric on top of that. Uh, you can also add in some kind of a label if you wanted to. So you could actually combine some text and value here. But just keep that in mind that you can drop things underneath the label section, but it's going to show it and it's not going to aggregate it there. Uh, you'll actually need to do some work on your own to be able to fix that issue. All right, so that's interesting. We can see a list of flags here. Let's now bring in something and kind of take a look at something that we can do here. Now, you can certainly use this as a slicer. You can select items here. You can see you can select Belgium, Canada, Denmark, and you can see how it's filtering the values below. 
Uh, but maybe I wanted to do something like this. Maybe I wanted to actually remove these little uh, labels that we see below here and work on this in a different way. So let me show you some interesting stuff that we can do with this. If I went underneath the format paintbrush when it comes to the flag slicer, you'll see there's not a ton here you can do. You can turn off the labels, for example. So I can turn them off and turn them back on. You can see the names of the countries there. If I turned them back on, you can increase the size if you wanted to. Uh, but tell you what, I'm going to turn them off for this example. And then I'll show you also underneath items, there's not really a ton you can do here, but you can see you can show this little shadow box. You really do want the shadow box on because notice what happens to the Japanese flag. If I turn off the shadow box, you'll notice it just becomes a dot floating in the middle of the uh, air there. Same with this one as well. So you do want to keep that shadow box on. Just note that from the two settings that you have in here. So not a ton underneath the format paintbrush for this. But let's actually work with this a little bit more and show some other things that we can do. So say, for example, that I wanted to see maybe just the top five countries as far as giving. So you, might, you guys might know how to do that in Power BI. If I wanted to filter this down to the top five, I would select the visual here. And by the way, I'm going to turn off the title here as well. It's kind of obvious here that it's country. So I'm going to turn off that little title that was appearing in the top. But I want to display just the top five here. So what I'll do is I'm going to go back over to the field well. I'm going to go down to the filter section. And I'm going to filter this visual, just this one visual, not the whole report, but I'm going to filter just this one visual to show just the top five countries. You go down to where it says country. You change the basic filtering here to a top end filter. And you're going to say that I want to see the top five. And then you have to tell it what are you going to base the top five off, off of. The top five here is going to be based off of the aid given. So I'll bring and drop in aid given. And then it should show me when I hit apply filter, the top five aid given countries. OK, so here's my top five. And I can, you know, it's nice I turned off the label, but it's kind of maybe I don't know all the country flags here, so I might want to add some kind of a label. So one way I can add some kind of a label here is I can do that by adding in a card. So a card would be a nice way to do this. I can go find a card right here, drop that in here, make this a little bit larger, okay? And then if I wanted to, I can drop in the country right here. And you'll notice, though, the problem is it looks like it's showing the very first country in the list here. Now, if I select any of these, it shows the right one. But by default, it's showing the country that I have either selected, or if I unselect these, if I don't select any of them, it's going to show the first one in the list. So that's not really what I'm looking for. By, by the way, Denmark was selected because that was one of the last ones I had selected in the, the slicer earlier. But this isn't really doing exactly what I would hope it would do. I really want to see the, the very first one on the list, and uh, not the first one, but I want to see the one that I have selected. And if I don't have it selected, I want to see a list of all of the countries that are being displayed in my chart below. So to do that, we need to write a little bit of a DAX statement, okay? And this is a very, you know, com somewhat complex one, but it's an interesting one. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to copy and paste the code in here and then kind of talk you through what it's doing. All right, so we're going to right-click on Aid Given and select New Measure. And I have this little code pasted in that I'm going to drop in here. And basically, we're creating a new measure called Countries List. And what this measure does is it takes the list of countries that we have and places them in a comp comma-separated list for us. So that way, if we have multiple countries selected, or if we have one country selected, it will either show one value or multiple values in a comma-separated list. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter on this to create this country list measure. Then I'm going to bring in a card to be able to display that new measure. So I'll select card here, make this a little bit larger, about like that. And then I'll select the countries list to go inside of that card. And now I can see each of the countries I have selected. So right now, I haven't selected a flag, so it's showing all the countries. If I were to select one of these individual flags, you would see that it changes to the country I have selected. Uh, when I unselect, you'll see it shows all of them. Now, one of the things that you might notice is, well, all right, well, that's great, but you only have the top five countries here. So what would I do if I wanted to select one of the ones that was not in the top five? Well, another option there, of course, is you could bring in the flag slicer again, or you can bring in a regular slicer. I might do something like this, bring in the flag slicer one more time, make it into another slicer right next to my list here, bring in country once more. And then you can just select here now any one of them that you don't necessarily even have listed in the top five. You can come back over here and select any one. So it kind of gives you two options. You can go from the top five, and you might want to label it in some way that way. I might come up with the title uh, section of this uh, slicer. And I may actually turn the slicer back on, uh, the title back on, and call this one like top five countries, top five giving. And then make that a little larger and center that. And so that way it's kind of clear what that is. And then you can also come over here and retitle this one if you wanted to, so you can see which, how, how these differ from each other. So this is our top five giving, and this is all the other countries that we have. But again, this is a nice way to be able to label it, and we see how it interacts with our slicer below. Now, one thing I'll point out to you is it is not multi-selectable. So if you wanted to select more than one value here, that's not an option. You either select one or all, 
If you want to select all of them, you need to select it again, a, a particular value to unfilter it and see there are all the values here again. Okay. All right, so that's it for the Enlightened World Flag Slicer. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in our next module. Thanks a lot.